Hello, my name is Joshua Mutu and welcome to Pixel Make. In our last video, we created the damage interactions between the ship and the asteroids. If you haven't watched that video, the link will be in the description below. In today's video, we're going to be creating our health bar. The difficulty of today's video is going to be the fluffy difficulty, so it won't be that hard to do. The asset pack we will be using in today's video is the spaceship pack and the astro pack. If you haven't downloaded those, the link will be in the description below. If you want to start from this point in the series, you can always download our project off GitHub, where you can download the project from any point in the series. The link for that will also be in the description below. So to start off, we're going to set up our UI inside of uh, Unity. So if we right click in the hierarchy, go to UI and we want to create a canvas. I'm going to rename this canvas to UI and what the canvas is used for is to display our UI elements over the camera view. So what I'm going to do is separate our UI uh, elements from our in-game UI to our end-game UI. So I'm going to right click, create empty. I'm going to rename this to in-game. So I'm going to set the anchor points to 0, 0 and 1, 1. I'm also going to give it a 5 pixel pa padding. So next I'm going to create a panel box uh, which will hold our stats elements. So I'm going to right click, go to UI and panel. As you can see the parent object has given our panel a 5 pixel padding around the edges. So I'm going to rename this panel to stats and I'm going to resize it so it's in the top left corner. So I'm going to set it to 800 on the right and on the bottom I'm going to set it to uh, 550. So next I'm going to create our health bar using a slider component. So right click, UI and slider. So the first thing I'm going to do is rename our slider to health bar. I'm then going to turn off the pre-made handle and I'm going to set the padding around our fill area to be 2, which our health bar sits on top of. And I'm going to set the actual fill to be 0. So currently our health bar is too small. On our stats panel, I'm going to go to the inspector, go to add component, layout, and vertical layout group. So what this will do is set all child objects to be equal distance from each other within the panel. So the first thing I'm going to do is give it a five pixel pa uh, padding. I'm going to allow the stats object to control the width of the child objects. And I'm going to set the alignment to be from the center of our panel. So if we select our health bar, next I'm going to select our health bar and change the height of our health bar to 80. So what we want to do for our health bar is set the max value to be equal to our ship's max health and the value to be equal to our ship's current health. So what I'm going to do is go to our scripts folder, right click, create C sharp script, and I'm going to call it UI underscore controller. I'm going to open that up. I'm going to get rid of all this. So to access our UI components uh, in a C-sharp script, we need to use the Unity engine.ui namespace. So at the top of our script, I'm going to do using Unity engine.ui. So first we need to access our ship controller script. So I'm going to do public ship controller, and I'm going to call it ship controller. Next, we want to access our slider component. So I'm going to do public slider, and I'm going to call it health bar. In the start function, I'm going to do health bar dot whole numbers is equal to true. What this will do is set the value of our health bar to be whole numbers. Next, I'm going to do health bar dot min value is equal to zero. This will basically set the minimum value for our health bar to be zero. Next in the update function, so void update, I'm going to do health bar dot max value is equal to ship controller dot stats dot max health. And finally, I'm going to do health bar dot value is equal to ship controller dot stats dot current health. If we save that, go back to Unity, add our UI script to our UI canvas. And then we've got to add our ship and our slider to the script. Before we start, I'm going to go into our prefabs folder and create a prefab for our UI canvas. So if we test the game, select our health bar, you see the max health has been set to our ship's max health and the current health is equal to 
our ship's current health. So currently the uh, health bar is a bit dull. It's got no color to it. So what we want to do is add some color to our health bar fill object. And to do that, we need to access the image component on the object. So if we go back to the script, first we need to create a public image component and I'm gonna call it health bar fill. And next I'm gonna create a public color array for the different colors for our health bar. So public color, and that's the American way of spelling it, square brackets, and I'm gonna call it fill color. And what I'm gonna do is set this to be equal to new color, square brackets, and free. And the three colors we'll be using is green for when we're above half health, an amber color for when we're below half health, and a red color when we're below 10% health so in the start function i'm going to set the colors so so fill color square brackets zero which is the first one in the array and that's going to be equal to new color brackets and what we're going to be doing is using the rgb format for setting colors which is red green and blue so to set it to green i'm going to do zero for the red 255 for the green and zero for the blue so I'm going to copy that two more times. So I'm going to set the second one to be an amber color. So that's going to be 255 on the red, around uh, 194 on the green, and zero on the blue. And finally, I'm going to set the last one to red. So all you're going to do is set 255 on the red and zero on the other two. So in the update function, I'm going to set the health bar fill color to be green. So we do health bar fill dot color is equal to fill color square brackets zero. Then what I want to do is set the health bar color to be an amber color when it gets to 50% health and a red color when it gets to 10% health. So to do that, I'm going to do if brackets health bar dot value is less than or equal to ship controller dot stats dot max health divided by two i'm going to do the exact same thing but set it to our second color which will be one so i'm going to copy this and change it from being max health divided by two to max health divided by 10 and then change it to our third color which will be two so if we save that go back to unity so if we select our UI canvas and drag our fill object onto our health bar fill in the script, apply those changes, and if we test our game, our health bar will be green, and then once it gets to about 50%, it'll go amber, and then finally, when it's below 10%, it will go to red. Before the video ends, I'd just like to give a special thanks to the artist behind our asset packs, Julian. You can find him on Instagram at woo.ju.digital. So that's all we've got for this video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Unity 3D. For updates on our asset packs and videos, don't forget to hit that notification bell and also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. For a more behind the scenes look into what we do, you can also follow us on Instagram. Links for those will be in the description below. My name is Joshua Mutu and thanks for watching.